Hello guys, I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be talking about my journey with meditation. Oh, I put a shout out on Instagram a little while ago to ask what kind of content you guys would like to see, especially over the coming weeks when, you know, a lot of us are going to be in isolation or social distancing and yeah, I just want to be able to provide as much content as I can that will help you guys through this time. And the majority of people, the majority of answers that I got were about meditation. I'm not going to provide my own guide to meditation purely because I'm not a professional. I just, for me, it doesn't feel right to do that. There are certain languages that are used and things and it's, you know, people use meditation at such a sensitive time when they are feeling anxious, worried, depressed. And it is when you're in quite a, a deep state of, you know, going to a subconscious and things like that. And I just, I don't want to mess with that. <laughs> so I'm going to give my tips. Obviously, I, like I said, I'm not a professional at all. This is purely based on my experience. I've been meditating for a long time now, on and off for two years, but the last, I'd say, six months, I have implemented it into every single day of my life, morning and night, and I have seen such progression. It's had such a knock-on effect with other parts of my life. It's helped me to heal, to find self-love, to forgive just it's just it's been amazing it's been i'd go as far as saying it's been a lifesaver i got to a point where i was really really anxious and also really depressed and i just couldn't figure out what was wrong what i needed to do and meditation is what really helped me with that so yeah i'll start off by just talking about my journey with it and then I will go into like top tips and stuff like that in another video because otherwise this is going to be very long. You guys know that I'm a waffler. <laughs> okay, so I first started off meditating, like I said, about two years ago, and that was through the Calm app. The Calm app is a fantastic place to start. I think I just saw it advertised on social media, it came up as an ad. You know the whole law of attraction, the universe speaks to you. I'd been feeling a bit, oh, constantly worrying about the future, thinking about the past, and just never really living in the present. I was always in a state of worries of the future, regrets of the past, you know, past traumas were triggering me, and I just, it was, it was not a nice place. It, it wasn't a nice to, like, to, my mind and body wasn't a nice place for me to be in, <laughs> basically, I think is what I'm trying to say. And yeah, I started seeing all these ads for Calm app. There were a few different ones. There's Headspace. I can't think of any others. It was a free trial. And they're quite generic, uh, like, you know, meditations to help you sleep, meditations to stop worry, meditations to relieve anxiety, um, and things like that. Like, just they're quite broad in terms of what they cover. And I would just do like a three minute meditation and see in the beginning, my mind would wander. I would, you know, hear a notification pop up. You know, when you're listening to something on your phone and even if your phone's on silent, you know when you've got a notification because whatever audio is playing goes quiet for a few seconds. And then I'd like open my eye, have a look and look at the notification. I'm like, oh, I just quickly check it. And then once I check it, I'd be like, oh, Instagram. And I would get so distracted. If they say, you know, yeah, imagine that you're on a beach, then I'd start thinking about these past holidays that I've been on, or, oh, me and my husband would never go on a beach together again. And, you know, my mind would just wander so much. I'd want to change positions, and, and then I'd be really hard on myself, and I would concentrate so much on trying to concentrate that I wouldn't be concentrating. So, yeah, in the beginning I found it really difficult, and I couldn't understand how other people do it you know, people that meditate for like an hour, I just like, how? I don't, I physically cannot and mentally cannot still my mind. But it's training. You wouldn't go to the gym, work really, really hard, go regularly, gain the muscle that you're wanting to gain, lose or gain the weight that you're wanting to lose or gain. And then as soon as you reach that goal, just stop going because just go back to how you were. It's the same with your mind. If you're going to train your mind to do something, you've got to keep that up. I would do it a bit, find it really difficult, wouldn't do it for a couple of days, I'd try it again, and then if I was in a good place in life, I just wouldn't do it at all, because I'd think, well, I don't need to meditate, I feel fine now. So I just didn't have really the, the right attitude, I wasn't in the right mental state to do it. I, I think in the end, it wasn't so much that I was 
using the meditation to benefit from it, I was using it as something to distract my mind so that I could fall asleep. I had so much anxiety that I'd, as soon as I'd hit the pillow, my mind would just go at a million miles per hour and I couldn't stop thinking about things and visualising things and it was really, really hard. So I would use it as a tool just to help me drift off to sleep to really concentrate on focusing on the meditation so that my mind wouldn't be thinking about other things. And then I'd say about six months ago, I got to a really low point again and I just thought something needs to change. Like I was doing everything right, eating healthily, exercising, I was doing everything and I just still felt so stuck and I just thought I need to, you know, meditation always popped up. I would spend so long Googling like how to, you know, relieve anxiety, how to stop feeling low and, and all of these things and so many times meditation came up and I just thought I'm obviously not doing it right. And I mean, there's no right or wrong way at all with meditation. If you simply want to use it to help you sleep, to help you stop worrying or anything like that, then that's absolutely fine because you're getting a benefit from it. For me, I, I wanted to heal. I wanted to really get, to the, you know, find out what was wrong and find out what I wanted. I just felt like something was missing and I knew that meditation would help me to get that. So I started looking at other meditations. The Calm app was still great, but I feel like I needed to go a bit deeper. So then I started looking on YouTube. I would go more specific with the meditations that I was using. So for example, meditation for healing past trauma, meditation for inner child work, meditation for heartbreak, because I felt quite grief stricken in my heartbreak. It was a grieving process. And I think that again was something that I really struggled with. Yeah, so I started looking for more specific guided meditations. There are some fantastic resources on YouTube. I would really urge you to look at those ones. Some of them are short, three, five minutes. So they're good ones to start with. But yeah, there are some, some on there that are like an hour, two hours long. I mean, now sometimes I'll fall asleep to like sound baths which is all the gongs and things like that. And some of them are like eight hours long and I just, I'll let it work its magic while I'm sleeping, all the good vibrations. But yeah, guided meditations wise, I started doing them for like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour. And I just felt like my, because I, it was more for a purpose. It wasn't just like a distraction. It was a real purpose. I felt like I was concentrating more because I, I knew what I was gonna get out of it, you know, the healing that I was gonna get. There are so many out there, so I think the best thing is just to maybe start with the car map, so still your mind, and see what pops up. You know, what kind of thing it is that you think you need to heal, or that's worrying you, or that you want to work on, and then use those answers to go into more specific meditations on YouTube. And then I re-signed up to Elevate the Globe. I've mentioned Elevate the Globe a few times on here. There's two ladies called Britt and Tara who live in the States, and they are amazing. I used Elevate the Globe um, a couple of years ago when I started doing meditations before the Calm app. Um, so I should have mentioned that actually, but yeah, I did like a free five day trial with them. It's not just sat in easy pose, like Gyan Mudra and listening. A lot of it is mantras, which I find a bit easier to, not easier to do, um, but if you get restless and a bit bored, having something to say or a movement to make can really help. So, you know, there are different ones that we do, like this one I do at the moment, and you have like a bear grip, and you're saying like, had, 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 had. And there's like a whole thing to it, and then there's other ones where you're like, you're moving from side to side, and it's all about raising your vibrations, and yeah, just getting that energy going and releasing it through your chakras, you know, connecting with your higher self. They do a lot to do with astrology, so it's, you know, what cycle we're in at the moment, and, they're just, they're amazing. But yeah, so I, I did the five day free course uh, a couple of years ago, absolutely loved it. And then uh, about six months ago, when I kind of really got into my meditations again, I did the five day one again, because I thought I'd just re-familiarise myself with it. And I did it for, I want to say like a month or so, where I would just repeat the five days. And that really helped me to build up my like the duration that I could meditate for and I just, it really helped me to get answers and just really build a strong connection with my higher self. And then I decided to commit to their subscription. So they do a, like you can either pay monthly or annually. I can't actually remember the price, but I'll leave a link to it below. There's no like affiliate. I don't benefit from it, from you signing up. And yeah, there's just a wealth of 
content on there so there's morning meditations that you can do and they change depending on you know where the planets are aligned and they do lives weekly loads of yoga flows you can search on there if it's to do with you know anger sadness healing heartbreak whatever it is and yeah it's just so so powerful i would recommend them to anyone every morning i do the 4am sadhana but i don't do it at 4am because i can't wake up at 4am i try and wake up at 5am and do it um, basically the earlier you wake up the realm is most open um, it's like your higher self, higher being and things like that. It's your, your most connected. It's when it's everything is quiet and still and yeah, it's a really good time to do it. Um, you just got to train yourself to get up earlier and earlier each day. Even if you normally wake up at seven, set your alarm for half six and do half an hour. Um, and then, you know, after a week, start doing it at six and then half five and slowly do it that way. But yeah, at the moment I'm doing the Pisces meditation, which is all about prosperity. Um, so at the moment we're on day 25 of that. It's on like different cycles. Sometimes there might be like three going on. You can pick and choose what you want to do if you don't fancy doing any of the regular ones. Although it is recommended to do like the same one for a while to kind of build up that um, routine of doing it. But you can just search for however you're feeling that day and do a different one. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. I do my morning ones. There's also ones that you can do in the evening, during the day. I just implement it as and when I can into my life. I do try and keep a good routine of doing it in the mornings. Evenings are harder because I get the boys to bed and then I tend to work and then I'm knackered and I just want to sleep so that I can wake up and meditate. But I do benefit from meditating at night time as well because it helps to calm my mind before I go to bed. Uh, so doing it in the morning, you're then going to be healing and releasing anything that's come out in your subconscious while you've been sleeping. It depends on you and what you can fit into your lifestyle, even if it's just, you know, headphones in at your desk, five minutes of it while, you know, everything else is going on around you. Yeah, that's how I implement it into my lifestyle and I feel like I'm a much calmer person. I'm a much calmer parent. I'm more present with them. I'm less snappy. I'm not shouty anymore. I like to think I'm more present with my friends and family. I feel like I've got more of a balance. My anxiety isn't as high. I've been feeling sad the last few days because of our current situation, but I feel like meditating has given me a lot more coping strategies and tools to process those feelings. And yeah, it is really, really powerful. But yeah, that's where I'm at with it. It has been life changing for me. It's just had huge, huge benefits for me. So I would absolutely recommend meditating. Um, and yeah, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And there are more videos coming on meditation because I know that's a topic that quite a few of you have asked for me to talk about. So yes, thank you for watching. Bye.